happen. That water's high. Bro, I wasn't planning on this. I came out here to clean my fish over in the corner, and that ain't happening. I didn't expect that either. Alright fam, the boat guy decided against uh, going down here and trying to launch the boat in all this water. Alright fam, hello and welcome to another episode of Fishing That. This wasn't even going to be a video. I was simply going to come down here, clean my catch from the last two days, toss my carcasses in the river like I normally do, let mother nature take its course. And we ran into this. All of this freaking high water. So, <clears throat> I this wasn't going to be a true Dave boot video either. And so since the water's so high, I decided to put my boots on. We're going to go ahead and clean the fish right here at the entrance. Which I could drive through the water, but why? So we're going to clean the fish right here at the entrance. Show you how we clean our fish. Walk over through the mud. Throw the carcasses in so they don't sit here on the bank. And when the water does go down, they're sitting here on the bank. So that's what we have in mind. And we decide to turn the camera off and see how it goes. All right, family, stay tuned. Man, I wasn't expecting this. Yep. Man, I don't think nobody was expecting this. I gotta get my fan hat, y'all. It is hot out here. Woo! Fam, I know I keep saying this, but this thing is a game changer. I am not kidding. Back over here so y'all can see this pretty face. Huh. Woo! Bam. Check it out. And this is all Roselle. Nobody sent me anything for this one nobody purchased it but me all right all right fam as you may have seen on a previous video i had one of these knives but it was the green and gold one i think and i gave that to my daughter and her husband so because they're in the fishing game now so i bought the Piranha, Mr. Twister, salt water and fresh water. So this will be my first time using this. So, boom, boom, we're locked in. We're locked in here. Now, if y'all can see this fam, right here, I ran an electrical cord. Let me turn y'all down. I ran an electrical cord from the inside of the truck to the inverter. And then this is a power brick that's underneath here. When I'm driving on long trips, I plug that in. I have a, I have a uh, impact wrench. So if I have a flat tire, I can take those lugs off in a matter of minutes. And I have a couple other components plugged up that I'm charging with my inverter. Plus I have a trickle charger plugged up that charges my secondary battery. And that's all for my brain. So I don't have to have anything in addition, but I don't have to have a alternator charger from my to my second battery. That inverter works as my second arm, as my alternator, so to speak. All right, fam, let's close that up. Go ahead and plug this up. Oh, don't feel like that's getting enough power. All right. I have a second inverter. Whoa, calm down. Let's see if that one will work. All right, fam. That second inverter is a little bigger, has a little more power. Check it out. Like a champ. Victim number one.
Now I should have bled that catfish as soon as I caught him. You got a little bit of blood left, but we'll work around that for sure. There you have it, family. Two beautiful, beautiful fillets. Now, here's the game plan. True day to the rescue. Appreciate you. Man, right on time, y'all. I keep a couple of Ziploc bags right there in the corner. For, these, for moments just like this, baby. And yes, people are gonna think I'm odd sitting here cleaning my fish at the entrance of Anthony's Bay Boat Launch, but that's what we do. Whether I'm here at the entrance or down there where I normally clean them, it's all the same, fam. All right, fam, victim number two. Another cat. Oh yeah. Old big fella. Ah, messed up a little bit on that one. Like I said, fam, this wasn't meant to be a true day commercial, but my feet are dry. As if I was walking on carpet in my house. All right, family, we're gonna show y'all one more of the specimens that I caught, and this was on day one of my two-day fishing expedition. I don't know if the camera's doing it justice, y'all. Here's the knife check that out in reference normally I would scale a red ear and de head him this things are big enough they deserve to be filleted pin bone gone alright fam there you have it that's how I go about cleaning my fish. And I try not to just cut through the pin bone because there's a little bit of meat underneath the pin bone. So I basically just shave that pin bone off and leave the meat, especially when you're dealing with a fish of this size. All right, fam, I'm not gonna bore y'all with the entire cleaning process. So we're gonna go ahead and clean the rest of these fish. We got about six more uh, big boys in there, big uh, 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 red ear. And so we'll bring y'all back when we finish the cleaning process and show y'all how many fillets we got. Y'all stay tuned. All right, fam, we are done. We wind up having eight fish, 16 fillets. Nice bag of fillets, if you will. Catfish caught fresh this morning they're a little redder like I said I didn't bleed those out the rest were red ears or uh I guess you call those there's I think that's a form of bluegill not quite sure we called everything brim back in Georgia but anyway fam I just wanted to go ahead and include y'all in this because I thought it would make a decent little short video this shouldn't be too too long and that's how I clean fish I have a fish cleaning uh, table back at the house, but it stayed out in the sun. It got all cracked up. Every time I clean fish, I got blood and guts. I got to clean up at the house. Uh, I got scales everywhere. This is just a lot easier. Anthony Ferry is about four miles from my house. So a four minute drive, clean my fish, 
throw the carcasses away. I don't have to worry about scales or anything, any cleanup at the house, and we're done. So fam, hopefully that help y'all. And this, let me unplug this real quick. Stand by. All right, fam. There are two or three different versions of this, of this Mr. Twister. There's the green and gold one, a yellow one. There's the blue and white. And I think there's one more version. I did not know that when I gave the other one to my daughter and her son and her husband, I didn't realize that they were, I knew they were different, but I didn't know what the difference was. This one obviously is more powerful. My small inverter will not work it. The inverter that I'm using is a thousand watt inverter. It will work it. But I think the other one is like a 650 uh, watt inverter. It won't even crank it up. So fam, we're gonna go ahead and take these blades off. Oh, and one other difference, these blades appear to be about an inch or two longer, which makes it easier for me to fillet on this small fillet table I have here in the Jeep. So all right, family, I hope y'all enjoyed this quick down and dirty video of how rosy, I know I'm unusual, fam, but I just do things different. I do things that, I'm lazy, so I do things that are convenient for me that make the job easier. I do not like cleaning fish, so this made it easier for me. Coming to somewhere that I like, I have a really nice background, uh, I can easily dispose of the carcasses, and there's no cleanup for me at the house, so it works for me. So, all right, family, if y'all enjoyed this quick down and dirty video, y'all know what to do. Give your boy a thumbs up. And if you like what we're doing here at this and that, consider becoming a subscriber. And if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we drop one of these awesome videos. It's your boy, Rosie. Peace.